morning guys it's Laura here welcome back to my channel to Laura's keto way of life now I'm not sure if you guys all follow me on Instagram or not but you will have noticed if you have followed me on Instagram that I have a new phone so I'm currently filming and taking all my photos and everything off my Samsung Galaxy 8 plus so sorry if the footage looks you know a bit shaky or different blame the new phone um, and also my image quality on my camera is really really bad on this phone I don't know why my Samsung 5 note was great the images on this are really unclear and blurry so hopefully I can do some more research on that and should check out why my images look terrible and grainy anyway aside from that so in what is it five days now five days I'll be hopping the plane flying to LA and then scooting across to Portland on Oregon very excited to have my trip to America while on the keto and I thought I'd share with you this morning since it's Saturday my day of housework and also today I'm making today the day of packing my suitcase and getting my ass into gear because I have not packed anything yet I don't know really what the weather's gonna be like over there but thank you to my amazing YouTube fam for giving me ideas and tips last week on what to take to any overseas trip while on keto and thank you to my awesome people who have been following my channel who have given me ideas and so much information of what where to eat what to eat restaurants over there shops over there what to wear oh it was a godsend so really thank you guys anyway so I thought I'd do a little shop and show you what I have brought to you a little shop of what I'm taking with me on the plane to eat and to obviously eat while I'm over there on keto but of course it's a holiday as well as just a job thing so I want to try and get as many keto foods in and try as many restaurants and yummy American food over there as I can so the scales are not coming with me I don't need to worry about my weight while I'm there mm, that's a bit of a lie because I do need to worry about my weight while I'm on the runway but luckily the runway is only at the start of the trip. After that, I get to relax and eat, eat, eat. You guys know I love to eat. I can't stop eating. Anyway, so I'm gonna share with you what I'm gonna take on. Hopefully I can take food on the plane. I'm really paranoid about this because I know you go through customs and Americans really strict to us over here and they, you know, some of them are really helpful, like they'll but you can't have that, you better quickly eat that, you can't take that on. So I'm really panicking about all this food expensive food as you guys know healthy is expensive so I'm really panicking about all this food that I've brought that I'll get to customs before I board the plane and they're gonna throw it all in the bin hopefully not all right so here's a sneak peek of what I'm taking with me to America mm. yes that's right these are not for me <laughs> I always like taking some goodies over there to for my American family, my little American friends that are over there. So I thought this would be a cool little surprise, little gift for them. Original Tim Tams, some chocolates, since a lot of them don't know what Maltesers are, and cute little fridge magnets. Also these delicious caramel koalas, which are little koala creatures filled with caramel goo coated in chocolate goodness. And of course, more Tim Tams, my favorite chuck mint. Obviously I don't eat this, but I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Now for what I'm taking with me, is this vast variety of foods. Of course, I can't live without my Quest Bars now. Why did I ever try them? I could if I had willpower, but when it comes to a treat for myself, I don't reach for a box of chocolates. I reach for Quest Bars. So that'll be one of my treats while I'm over there. For the plane, I'm taking some almonds, my favorite nuts, roasted and salted macadamia nuts. Got two bags of them. Not that I'm gonna be needing two bags, but who knows, it's a week. Um, I picked up this organic fruit and nut mix. Yes, I know on keto we can't have fruit, but it doesn't mean I can't try the mixture. So it's 50% nuts, almonds, cashews, hazelnuts, Brazil nuts, it says 45% fruits, which is sultanas, raisins, and apricot pears and apples. Not that I would be needing to eat them, but, you know, something different than just eating macadamians and almonds non-stop. I also grabbed a bag of these because I love seeds. So this is a seed, fruit, and nut mix. As it, again, I will just ignore the fruit. But the seeds are sunflower kernels, 
the pita kernels. Then again, it's got the sultanas, apricot, nuts. And look at that rice flour, vegetable oil. Ugh, don't need them. And almonds and cashews. So I'm just going to eat the seeds and the almonds and cashews in there. Hopefully, they'll have a nice flavor. And mum grabbed these for me because she goes, look, something gluten-free that you can take on a plane. So let me just look into these. These are those larger snacks. So this is apparently a new version of these snacks. Also because, you know, mum's caring, she told me that there is turmeric in them. I can see that right there. But wow, look at those carbs. 18 grams of carbs per serving, and that's 30 grams serving size. This whole bag is 140 grams, so that is a lot of, a lot of carbs. Um, and obviously grains, no sunflower, canola oil, no. Um, chia seeds, poppy seeds. Chia seeds, poppy seeds are alright. Quinoa, no. Chili powder, mmm. Turmeric, yeah. Look, these are a no, guys. But I will take them and leave them as a last resort if I get stranded somewhere at midnight in an airport. Thanks, mumsy. Alright, so that are my plain snacks gosh guys if you have traveled a lot and can you just let me know can, will customs let me take these through because i'm freaking out right now i've got all these yummy delicious snacks i do not want to eat plain food Ugh. so let me know guys have you had this experience can you take these yummy foods on the plane with you as carry on and also once i get off the plane to america do i have to then throw them out in the bin hmm let me know so this is my little carry-on bag. I'm thinking I might need a bigger one. Just, just for my snacks. <laughs> All right, so I've got my little fluffy neck pillow. Um, and then just my, you know, toothbrush, the normal amount of liquids that you're only allowed to take, perfumes, earplugs, and I'm just gonna throw all my chargers in there. And of course, the change of, you know, the spare, take a pair of undies and a a pair of pants and a pair of shirt in case your suitcase goes missing. I hope it doesn't. God help me if my suitcase goes missing. I will freak out. So that's all for this video I think. Guys if you have any tips of what to take on your carry-on let me know. Hmm. Must be pretty boring today. Um, other than that I'm going good, feeling good. I have eaten way too much this week. Let's just say the 65 kilo goal not gonna happen. I have been eating so much Pro Pro ice cream, so much ricotta, oh my gosh, so much cheeses, so many cheese and ham dishes and any pasta dishes. But you know what? I enjoyed my birthday and that's all that matters. Tonight I am going out for dinner for a full Italian restaurant and I know everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, carbs, carbs, carbs. But actually they have delicious things like ricotta balls, um, you know, just cheese platters, so many cheese platters. I was just saying, I'm eating too much, and yet I'm excited to go out for this Italian restaurant for dinner tonight. Follow me on Instagram, you will see my delicious meals that I'll be having tonight, and don't worry, it's all going to be keto. I'm going to take you guys with me, so don't forget, next week, come Thursday, there's probably going to be a lot of vlogging happening, but I'm going to be excited. I don't care, because I told you guys I'm going to take you on my journey to America. Aussie girl going keto in America. Has a good ring to it. Say hi to everybody. Nope. All right, it's just me. Anyway, guys, that's my short little vlog this week of my food that I'm taking on the plane with me. Yeah, as I said, if you guys have been there, done that, let me know. Am I going to have to throw this food out once I land in LA or are they going to let me keep it? I'm worried because it says fruit and nut mix and they don't like fruit going into other countries. Anyway, guys. Hope you're going well. Keto on and I'll update you later. So it's been about an hour now. I'm still chilling with my suitcase. Hey, it's kind of packed. But then I found these little things. I kind of got distracted. Mm. That was the other question I wanted to ask too. So it says when I'm going on the plane, I can take a handbag and a carry-on bag. So I'm guessing, obviously, my handbag I'll be taking on with my wallet and passport and all that in it. Carry-on bag is going to be my El Snacko bag over there. What do I put my iPad in? Or is that classed as a carry-on item as well? 
Does that mean I can't take my iPad? Or can I put my iPad in my handbag? But will then that be two items? Or will that be three items all up? Ah, I need help, guys. Can I take a handbag, my carry-on bag, a.k.a. snack bag, and my laptop bag? Well, it's not really a bag, and it's not a laptop. It's an iPad. Oh, my God. My mind is a warrior.